Hi everyone, welcome to my latest video review. This is on Andros and the Astronema 2 pack. And also I included Ashley too. Like Ashley came uh, separate. Uh, I just thought I'll throw her in too because they're all from the same season. Um, so let's get started. Oh yeah, and before I start, I do want to apologize for not doing a video review for a little bit. I got so busy in the week that I didn't get a chance to do it. Every time I got home, I was tired as hell. But anyways, I, I will keep posting reviews in a more um, frequent manner. Let's get started here. So I'm going to first show you guys the boxes and then we'll go into the actual figures. And as you can see, I've already put the human heads on them. Because like I've stated in the Mighty Morphin review, um, putting the human heads is a little bit time consuming versus the actual ranger helmet. So that's why it's easy just to keep the human heads and then put the helmets on after. And let's get started here. So... Here's the Andros and Astronema 2-pack box. This is what it looks like. Let me back up a little bit there. So that's what it looks like. Sorry, it's a bit cut off, but I'll show you the entire box. And um, yeah, so as you can see on the left here, we have Andros, um, the illustration of the red uh, Space Ranger. And then we have Astronema on uh, the right there. They also have a title here, Red Space Ranger, In Space Red Ranger, and Astronomer. And on the back here we have um, a nice illustration of the Red Ranger and Astronomer battling it out. Unfortunately, I don't have this effect piece. The thing about these figures is I got them before I even planned to do video reviews again and bring up my channel. So I do apologize, I never really kept too much of the effect pieces. They're around the house somewhere because my cat always loves to pick those up and run away but some of my newer figures still have them because i have yet to open them so that's what it looks like so i'll show you guys like a close-up so you guys can see what it looks like and uh, something to note is that the astronomer on the back of the box it looks like she's shown with purple hair which is the blue hair that we got her in <coughs> and Next, I'll show you the Yellow Space Rangers box. She came with the standard um, box where you have like the, the illustration of the ranger over here, which is Yellow Space. This one here. On the side, we also have another Yellow Space uh, in here. And on the back, we have a nice Yellow Space. Uh, looks like a CGI or a drawing. It's hard to tell. And that's the box right there. And Yellow Space came with this effect piece. It's supposed to actually attach to the Star Slinger like that. But I don't know why. It's super loose. It keeps falling off. So, But I'll just show you guys what it looks like. This is what it looks like here. So the Space Rangers, they came with this Astro Blaster. Let me see if I can get it to clo um, focus in here. Oh, this camera is very selective like yeah there we go kind of zoomed in and kind of didn't let me just see if it will be friendly no oh there we go it's really weird it zooms in and then cuts off again but you guys get the idea it's just basically a blue gun with like silver all over it i do apologize i'm not sure why the camera is being so weird Yeah, I'm, I'm going to continue. We'll be here forever if we're waiting for it to zoom in. And this is the Yellow Space Ranger's helmet. Oh, cool. So it zoomed in for the helmet, which is what I wanted because the helmet is more important than the gun. They did not actually fill in the three red lines here. Or not red, sorry. Yeah, three uh, black lines. I was looking at red space. That's why I said red. So that's what it looks like. They did a great job with the helmet. And the uh, yellow space ranger came with uh, these two extra hands. Let me see if I can collect them. These hands are a little bit tiny. So we got one hand here, which is looks like a karate chop hand, like this one here. The next hand is um, a fist, like a punching hand. 
I never actually use these extra hands because I prefer the hands that it, they come with. So they can hold the weapons and so forth. And this is what the yellow space ranger looks like. And let me take off her weapons so you can see. That's the star slinger. And here's the actual figure with the Ashley head. And later on I'll show you the rangers with their actual helmets. To be honest, I'm not a fan of this head because I really liked Ashley ever since I was a kid. And yeah, this head does not do justice to her because while it can while it looks like her maybe two percent, the rest no, it does not look like her at all. That's why I'm hoping the yellow turbo range will get Ashley and not Tanya and uh, will get a much nicer representation of Ashley. So let me remove the Ashley head so you guys can see what the yellow Space Ranger helmet looks like on the figure. So we're left with this here when you remove it and what makes the human heads hard to put on is when you're trying to put it on this kind of moves from back and forth this little peg here. But the Ranger helmets go on pretty nicely because you have a nicer grip on them. Yeah, it didn't even take five seconds, it just went on. That's what she looks like with the Ranger helmet. And for articulation, you can move the arm side to side, up and down. Then the glove can kind of rotate like so. The head, you can also move it side to side up and down in the chest you can kind of move it like so sorry if I'm going out of focus there my bad and also the leg you can move it side to side up and down because of the slit they put through in the skirt here let me just move the hand you're not the skirt doesn't hinder any movement thankfully and then you got some knee articulation and the feet too, you can kind of move it around like so. So pretty much the standard articulation that you have uh, with all the lightning figures. One thing that um, uh, that uh, fans pointed out, which kind of got on their nerves, is the gold collar when really they had a yellow collar, not gold. I barely even noticed it to be honest, but yeah, it does kind of stand out a bit there. That's yellow space, and that's what she looks like. It's not a bad representation of her. Um, much better than the Legacy Yellow Ranger, because had a tough time uh, like posting that figure. Actually, let me get that figure out, so I can actually um, compare it to the yellow Legacy figure and the red Legacy figure together. <coughs> So here's the yellow legacy figure with the lightning figure. Let me see if I can get her to stand because I know she was horrible with standing. Let me actually back it up there so you guys can see the full figure. Unfortunately, the legacy figures did not come with uh, any weapons. I mean, they did come with like the sidearm, but that's about it. Yeah, see, so when it comes to standing, they're the worst. Let me see, come on, stand, stand, there we go. Yeah, see, she almost falls, so let me see if I can get her to stand a little bit better. And here's lightning and legacy and of course it falls over no luck whatsoever so that's the difference there like let's see if I can yeah so legacy is considerably taller it is like uh, it's supposed to be six inches but I believe it's a lot more taller as you can see there the one thing um, I kind of liked legacy versus uh, lightning is that the chest 
wasn't as narrow like this one the chest is a little bit too narrow but it kind of stands so like let me show you guys and the lack of sh the shoulders like like this one here the shoulders are directly connected to the um chest there but this one there's a little bit of spacing because of articulation purposes but um yeah they're both good figures like don't get me wrong there but chest wise i prefer like her because there is it's a lot more wider and it doesn't take away from the figure but helmet wise i prefer this helmet here they do have their ups and downs yeah so that's the yellow ranger and i'll show you red ranger out of the two he's the best because they actually got andros pretty spot on with maybe a little bit of minor differences but he looks like andros pretty much and he came with the spiral saber unfortunately the red space ranger from legacy never came with this weapon which sucks because red space ranger used this weapon uh, throughout the show pretty much in every episode so this is what he looks like and he came um with these two additional hands this is what it looks like so he came with this hand here if you want to do the pulse of mega red or red space ranger it's like a finger pointed and this one here it's like a fist i'm going to show you what he looks like with the red space ranger helmet on He, this is what he looks like one thing that um, fans pointed out and I, it is kind of apparent is that they didn't stretch the visor out enough because um, the visor ends too quickly I mean it doesn't it's not that noticeable in the video but if you have it in person you can kind of tell but again if you're just displaying the masses you will not really notice it that much either and one thing about this figure is they put the um, white bands, shoulder bands, too low. It's supposed to actually be up here. That's another thing. And that's pretty much it. And they actually gave him a yellow collar versus gold, which is, I guess, good. But then it's inconsistent within the team because yellow has gold and red has yellow. So that's what he looks like. And as for articulation, it's pretty much the same as yellow. So the arm, you can move it. Uh, side to side it's kind of uh, stiff sometimes you don't play around with it and then down and then with the elbow you can go up down and then the glove you can kind of move it around and the leg you can kind of move it side to side up and down and you can you also have like a 360 thing going on there and same with the boot here and that's pretty much and also these figures had these uh, the articulation so you can kind of stretch it out or you can um yeah it's kind of weird like articulation that i didn't really care for but yeah that's a lot of um going on there and that's the red space ranger and finally astronomer this is the first figure we ever had of astronomer and I believe she deserved a really nice figure, but finally we got one. This is what she looks like. And let me show you a close-up of her face. As far as resembling Astronema, um, not so much. She does not resemble Melody Perkins. But again, the fact that we got an Astronema figure is really big, and I love it. So here's her staff, or here's her staff. I feel like they detailed it pretty nicely. She also came with this boomerang here from the show. It's a really soft plastic. It's a little bit of gold detailing. Oops, sorry, I moved it too quick. There's also a peg on her leg here. We can actually put the boomerang on like so. And one thing they failed to give her is her high heel boots. So when you kind of stand her up, she actually looks pretty short compared to the other figures i don't know if you guys can tell sorry i don't know why it went blurry all of a sudden let me see if i can fix it let me see oh there we go sorry about that i'm not sure what that was all about 
So I don't know if you guys can tell, Astronema is considerably shorter than the other Ranger figures. And as for articulation, pretty much the same as Ashley. Like they used a standard um, female lightning um, figure for her. So the legs can go side to side, up and down. That's like a ball joint. And then you can move around the knee, up and down. Even her um, foot, you can kind of move it. And even right here, she also have, has her articulation. You can move her up and down where her chest is. And also her hands, you can move it side. You can actually move it too much to the side because it, this armor piece hinders it. You can kind of move it up and down. And also by the elbow, up and down. It's kind of stiff, my astronomy figure, because I, I didn't really play around with it. I just uh, put her on display. The head, you can't move it too much because the hair is um, kind of molded close to the um, armor pieces. So you can't move it too much. And that's our Astronema figure. So honestly, I love, I mean, she's not a show accurate. I mean, she doesn't look like the actress, but I'm still happy we got an Astronema figure, something Bandai failed to do. So I'm happy with what we got. And Astronema does come in these two hands. They're simply two fists. I'm actually gonna move these figures out of the way. So they're two fists, that's what it looks like. And one last thing before I um, end the review, I wanted to show Astronema with her Psycho Rangers. So this is Astronema. Let me see if I can get her to stand properly. That's one thing that I didn't like about Astro the Astronema figure was that she had weak legs, meaning that she would fall over quite easily. So let me just move all this junk away. And let's put our Psycho Ranger friends I'll show you guys what all the rangers look like together. Oops. So always these figures, uh, some of them can stand, others can. There we go. And finally, yellow. And yellow's weapon is missing. Let me see if I can find it. So, yeah, let's just put yellow as this. You guys get the idea. But with the full Psycho Ranger team, she looks amazing. Like, uh, we're only missing a clipter and it would have been perfect but yeah, that's what she looks like with all five psycho rangers um as far as um how much they would cost the red ranger set and astronomo it's pr it's uh probably over like a hundred dollars in the u.s like i don't know like u.s versus canada because i did end up getting it from an online source and um i'm pretty sure it's available on like ebay but you might have to uh, spend a little bit. Oops, so I'm gonna remove this figure. It doesn't want to stand. And um, the Yellow Ranger, you should still be able to get her. I see her quite often on eBay. People have kind of put the prices up there, but during its time, it was like standard price, $19.99 if you're a US person or a collector, or if you're a Canadian fan, then it will cost you like 25 to $30 because yeah, in Canada it costs a little bit more. I haven't never seen these in stores. So, yeah, it, it is a little bit expensive in Canada. And one thing to notice, if you guys did not collect the recent Legacy line, which I believe had D uh, Dino Thunder Red, Green Mighty Morphin, and White Mighty Morphin. I've seen Red Dino Thunder and White Mighty Morphin in stores in Walmart here in Canada. So, if you guys missed out, do not... Uh, hit up online 
search your local Walmart first and go from there. So, anyway, so that's my review. And if you guys missed out on the Psycho Ranger set, uh, people are saying they're on clearance at Amazon. So that's now the time to get it if you missed out and you really want the set. And um, that's my review. And upcoming, I'll be doing more reviews of um, the Legacy figures or Lightning figures. Um, I was initially going to wait until I had completed teams, but unfortunately it looks like it will take a very long time for that to happen. So I guess I'm going to just do the reviews as the figures come along. And I am very excited for the new wave. I, I can't wait for it to be released. The one with SPD Pink, Zeo Green. Um, I don't really care for Red Galaxy because we already got that figure. And also Blue Dino Thunder. That's also nice. One thing to note also is the Space Ranger weapons. They do not combine. There is nothing on the weapons that suggests that. Um, some people are saying that they might release in the near future where the weapons combine. Who knows? Anything's possible. But I am glad that we got the standard weapons because, or the signature weapons because the figures, they look really nice with them. Anyway, so that's my review. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed my videos, please uh, subscribe, like, comment because it does really help. And again, I do apologize for the long wait until my next video. I do uh, plan to release them at a more frequent level. Thank you so much and have a great day.